Hi guys, Snake Dodder here. Welcome to another unboxing video on the channel. It is time for something that you've seen before, but on a much bigger scale. It is yeah. time for the Mega Poppin' Candy Box. Mega Pops. Mega Candy. Just what he says. We've got a big box. A big one. Full of stuff. Let's put that down and explain. Um, I have been buying normal pop and candies with one pop and some candy in for all this time and I thought I would treat myself and Dr. Creeper and I would buy um, the last actually, Big one. The, the last in us in, they've, they've changed it now, but I bought the last one that had four pops and candy, now they do six pops and candy. So if you order it from today onwards, you're going to get six pop figures and a massive box full of little bits of candy. Um, the way pop and candy works normally get one big item and then a few other items. So yeah, you're gonna we've got four pops to open, I think. Uh, four random pops. That was eight, but never mind. <laughs> four pops to open and a lot of candy. So let's not waste any time. Let's open up the candy. Let's see what we get. We'll do the pops at the very end and we'll see what we get. So let's uh, let's Should we do this first? Or yeah, let's do that one first. Yes, let's do this one first. So this is the big item. And this is Lottie Choco Pie. Yes, it looks like, if you've had these in England, it looks like it's a wagon wheel, but yeah, like it looks more like a stuff. massive thick a stuffed wagon wheel. Big, thick, well, no, it's the same as a wagon wheel, I think, just with loads of stuff in it. Fill your mouth with a pleasure of rich chocolate flavour every day. There are six packs in this. I'm guessing there's six of these in Yummy. in this box. Should we open up and have a, have a taste? Oh, then, let's have I think we one. should. So let's have a look at them. Oh, yeah, so there we are. They look a bit bigger. They look a bit bigger they're, on they're the soft. box. They're soft. They look a bit. They look wagon wheely. They look a bit bigger on the box, but we're going to open one up. We're just going to open it up. Oh. Open it, open it. There we go. Let me just let me just show that. So there you go. That is what you get. It's like a little moon pie type. It's thing. very much like a moon pie. Shove your face in that. Mm. Oh, it's soft. Mm. Mm. It's very much like a wagon wheel. Very much like moon stuff. pie. It's soft. That might be because it's been in a van mm. sent to me. You want to maybe put these in the fridge for a little bit. Mmm. Mm. They're nice. Very good. Very marshmallowy. I didn't get much marshmallow in that, I got more. More chocolate and, and biscuit. Yeah. Or spongy bit. It's quite spongy, isn't it? Mm. It's quite spongy. Um, like a um, Twinkie, but like a it's Kind of, yeah. Kind of a Twinkie. Crossed with a Twinkie and a, and a wagon wheel. There you go. That's kind of the best, the best explanation the best we can explanation. come up with. Um, so, say no price. Um, I think Pop and Candy is £24.99 to so get a pop figure and candy. Yes. This one, the one I ordered it, was fifty. No, this is £58.99 with the four pops and the candy. And now I think they've upgraded it, and you're now getting six, six pops. pops and a load of candy for seventy-four ninety-nine, which is expensive. Or seventy-two, whatever it was, it was seventy odd pounds. Um, you can check out the website; links on the screen and in the description. You can check that out for yourself. Popandcandy.com. Look at that promotion. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of options on the Pop and Candy website. You can get tons of it. There's like nine or some different packs mm -hmm. you can buy now. Um, sometimes you can choose what theme of pop figure you get. If you leave it to them, they will just choose random ones. You can choose Marvel or Doctor Who or whatever as an example you can choose those different ones if you want but yeah I've gone for the four pops and load of candy so I suppose we'll open the next um the next item we've got the little we've got the box, got the of, the, the box, box of candy, candy here and we have some postcards so we have let's open up the pop and candy one first we have pop the and normal candy. pop and candy postcard that's going to disappear we have kids crate which is one that Dr. Creep opened on your channel it's for 7 to 12 year olds I think yes and then we have the candy chaos postcard they are the postcards that you get in every box. You've seen those before, we don't need to dwell on those. The main thing we're here for now is Pop and Candy and you can see that on the screen. I think we're going to take this as the first item. We're going to take these here. Ooh. These are <gasps> Now Ooh, and like Laters. Them. Now I and Laters, like which we've, we've had before. Is it going to focus? There we go. Now that we've had before, but these ones are Extreme Sour Watermelon. See. Now, I don't really think of watermelon as being I love a, watermelon. Yeah, but a sour flavour. No. It's not something you normally have as a sour, a sour sweet. It's just a bitter type. Well, it's not fruity, really. isn't it? It's weird. It's a weird flavour. But let's see. You have one of them. It's quite. They're quite hard. This could be. This could be some time. We may end up having to spit these out, heaven forbid, just chewing them hard. Let's put them in at the same time. No. Let's see what we get. Let's open up the wrapper. Let's take all the peelings off it. There we go. Oh gosh. It's stuck. Yeah. It's sticky. There you go. Right. Ready. It's a normal chew, like chew, chew it type thing. Oh, it's quite soft actually. Mm. Oh, mm. That's nice. It is very mm. sour as well. Mmm. They're nice. Very good. I wasn't expecting the sourness. Do you know what? That I was like good. Them. As as watermelon flavour sweets go, 
I find watermelon quite bland as a flavour. I love watermelon. You do, don't you? But I, I, as a flavour in sweets, I find it quite bland. So to have a bit of sour in that, that was good. I enjoyed that. Mm-hmm. That's very nice. Um, next then. Now, I think we should go for... Well, I'm going to do the little packaging. Well, no, we'll do them at the end because they're going to be there's loads of them. They've got some normal little packaging sweets which you've seen me open before. Um, one of my favourites as well, so we'll come to those at the end. But these, I think you'll probably like. Mm -hmm. And these are Flips Minis. You see, we've had these before. Flips yeah, Minis. Yeah, we had the white. Ones. We've had white ones before. Yeah, these ones are just milk chocolate covered. Caramelised pretzels. No, covered. Just milk chocolate covered pretzels, mini pretzels, and um, caramelised. It looks like caramelised. It says covered. That's close. You take one. Oh. You've got a double, we've got like a triple one. He's gone for a triple. I've got the single one. Mmm. Very good. They're a bit like um a pretzel. Yeah, but a bit like a biscuit as well, more like a biscuit than a pretzel. Um they're good. Like a chocolate animal. Mmm. But a bit more crunchy. Mmm. I like those. They're nice, yeah. So they are they are flipped minis, milk chocolate. I've had pretzels, very, very nice. So next item, I think you like, don't you? Yes, I love these. E fruity pizza. Go back a bit. I think the camera can't focus when you're maybe a bit near. There you go. The camera can't focus when you slap it in its face. <laughs> a tang. But yeah, mini pizza. Let's take it out. Let's slide it out. That's what it looks like. Maybe the camera will be good to show rather than the screen. <laughs> to show the screen. <laughs> yeah, it's a little pizza. You've seen these before. We've had these before. We've had these, the burgers before. We've had. Burgers. Is that burgers and pizzas? Is that all we have in trouble there? A little bit. Unboxing skills. Not only is the item not on camera, but nor is Dr. Creeper. It's going to go over it. Shall I do it? Yeah. It's going to go It's literally going to go all over the floor otherwise. Oh, oh. I should have taken a watermelon. Yeah. A pretzel watermelon. Um, 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 um. Um, Are you having a poo? I, I, yeah, I'm having a poo, did you say? A poo. Looks like I'm having a poo. <laughs> a poo. A poo. A poo. Simpsons. Not apu from the Simpsons. Right? <laughs> um, yeah. We're not going to eat this. We'll have that later. You've seen us eat jelly sweets before. That's a jelly. Very nice. It's a jelly pizza. We've had these before. They're very tasty. We'll sit that back in the box for now. Yep. And we'll call that one an aborted attempt at looking at it. The next item we're going to look at, though. Oh, yummy. Looks very nice. These are Mr. Freshly's. We've had these before. We've had their donuts before. Yes. And these are Mr. Buddy Freshly's bars. Buddy Bars. They look nice. These are peanut butter wafers. Peanut butter. Do you like peanut butter? Yes. You do. I don't think you like peanut butter. I'm going to try a bit because I'm in this to win it. Tonka likes peanut butter. As Tonka well. does. He put we put peanut butter in his um his little horn that little. And when he because he's got thing. hay fever, we have to put it on his little hay. He fever does actually get hay fever. Yeah, we have to give him a piraton to. Yes. There you go. A little nibble of that. Show the people what it looks, looks like inside. It looks like a Snickers. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. Kind of a wafery thing. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's got. Can you sort of see that? I'm not sure if you can. It's focusing. Sort of. There nice. you go. Look. Oh, yeah, so it's very much like a, a milk chocolate wafer, but it's got a little kick of, of peanuts peanut butter. in it, doesn't it? Mmm. Mmm, the aftertaste, like after you chew it, it tastes more like peanut butter. Mm. That's really nice actually, I didn't think I'd like that, but that is not bad all, to, all, all together, that is pretty good. Right. Right, what should we go for now? Um, them. New oh. Crunchkins! There you go. What does it say? Deserted flavors. Deserted. <laughs> Dessert. Dessert flavored poppers with a crunchy center. Ooh. Birthday cake, fudge brownie, or glaze donut. Okay, so they look like Maltesers, as you can see there, and they've got like um like a filling. So I'm guessing they're going to be a bit like a Malteser, like a milk filled. Why am I struggling to open it? It's quite warm in here, though, isn't it? Very hot. It's quite warm, and I can't open anything. Oh dear. I'm struggling. We need Tonka here. He can, open he can just the chew the things for me. Take some water. Go and get scissors. Go and get scissors for me. I'm going to have to give in and get scissors. It's rubbish. I can't. <laughs> My fingers in the pot there. In the pot. Yeah. Um, there we go. Let's pass in the scissors correctly. Not yeah, don't trip and fall and then <laughs> stab yourself with a pair of scissors. It's not or you. Or me, more importantly, I suppose. Yeah, more importantly, not me. Right, let's open those up. I've got in. I haven't even cut it big enough, but I can't go back now for more. There we go. We're in. We're in. We're in. Right. So I you're gonna different, different colours. Let's get one of each out. I've I got want, brown one. I I've got glazed donut. All right. You got the light one, have you? Okay. So I've got the two. Oh, I've got the two other ones there. You've got, got the white um, and the brown. Birthday cake and the fudge. Right. So we've got birthday cake. The first one. What's your one? This is a glazed donut. What's it like? What's it like inside? Oh. Oh. They're like a. 
Like a little wafer. Oh, it's broken. Like a little wafer. Glazed donuts, really good. Mm. Let's try birthday cake. That wasn't bad, a bit bland, but. What's this one? This is fudge brownie. Mmm. You're gonna try all three, are you? Yeah, try glazed donut. Okay, I'll try one of the light, light brown ones. Tastes similar. They all taste quite similar, to be fair. That's the best one. Glazed donut is the best one. Definitely. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's got the best flavour, that one, hasn't mm. it? Talking of glazed donuts. Krispy Kreme shop! In about three weeks' time, there is a Krispy Kreme 24 hour drive through restaurant opening and about. And Costa. And Costa open about two or three miles up the road from us. Open 24 hours a day for drive in. The restaurant. You do a vlog there. A restaurant might do actually there. Vlog. On the day it opens. Um, the, uh, yeah, there's, the restaurant's open from 7 in the morning till 10 at night. It's gonna be good. We're gonna pop down there. We're gonna pop down there and have a look. Right, so next item, moving on. It's another Mr. Freshly's. Mr. Freshly's. I was just saying about the, uh, we had the, what were they called? The, the, the buddy bars. We have now. We've done now got some, some mini donuts and these are frosted strawberry flavour. Frosted strawberry mini donuts. I can't even get to these, oh, I can. I can. But like, yeah, oh, it smells very strawberry like. Have a bite. Don't eat the whole thing, have a bite. They're very strawberry. Oh, look, it's very pink inside, like pink strawberry. It tastes like this Polish chocolate I've had before. Come on, focus, camera, focus. Here you go. It tastes similar to the Polish chocolate I've had before. It's like strawberry chocolate, mm. like cherry. A bit of a weird flavour, to be honest. It's not. I wouldn't, if I, if I had a choice of different ones, I wouldn't pick that one. I would. Liquid. You would. That's not bad. It's, it's, you can taste the strawberry flavour coming through. So we've got four items left. We'll hit the candy plus One, two, plus the three, filling. Four. No, five. But we've got the four items plus five. the plus the filling to come. So um, let's grab the I'll grab, I'll grab the filling. Let's grab them all. This will do. I'm gonna get some as well. We have these. You know what these are? These are the jelly bellies. Blue, red. Individually wrapped jelly belly. We're not gonna open these because right. they're my favourites, and Dutch Cream's not allowed them. Let's get out the blue one. Now I'll let him because I'm nice like that. That's his fee for appearing in this video. Doesn't you not smell Jelly Belly? They don't smell. Mm. Well, I didn't tell him it's a Bean Boozled one. <laughs> that's not. Um, blue one. It'd be funny if it was if it was Bean Boozled. Mind that one's not bad as Bean Boozled. That's toothpaste or <laughs> very blue. blue. We've had these so many times at my inventions. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, yeah, and actually the people at Candy Chaos who provide this service. Um, they sponsor the My Invention um, stage. They've got a big banner when you come to My Inventions. They've got a banner that says Candy Chaos stage. And they su supplied us with all the bean boozles. So thank you very much, Candy Chaos, for that. It was very nice of you. Right, we have. We've got three items. We've got four items left. So let's go for this one. I'm not even going to open this one because I love this. I um, and you don't like this, so I'm not going to open it. We've had these before. This is the York Mint, mint sort of round thing. It's sort of round shape. You can see around it's round. Around circle. A round circle as opposed to a square circle, which, a is, a, which, is, a, which is a boxing ring it's or a, round a squircle. But yeah, it's just a chocolate thing with mint filling, creamy mint filling. I love these. Your mum likes these as well, so I'll probably share this with her. There's 70% fat than the average leading chocolate brand, yes. says there. Look. So there you go. Average, probably not. But. Probably. Well, they're all about the same, to be fair. Um, there you go. So that is the York chocolate round mint sweet thing. The next thing is Tootsie Rolls. Tootsie! Tootsie Rolls, the low fat candy since 1896. It's probably out of date now if it's been around since 1896. Um, these are a bit squidgy. They are they're like a, almost like um, a toffee. I think it's the best one. I'm not going to open these because they are one long sweet and they're a pain to break. Um, but they're very nice. I've had the little mini ones before that are about sort of that long, about two inches long. But this is this is a big long Tootsie Roll, and I like this a lot. It's very sort of syrupy. Um, treacly flavour kind of thing. It's sort of like you know the pencils you get. It's like a chocolate pencil. But toffee. Chocolate pencil, but toffee. You can't write with it either, like a pencil. No. I meant the sweets. I know you did. But here you go. They are Tootsie Rolls. That's the second to last, or third to last item. We've got the second to last item now, which looks amazing. Really good. I've never seen one of these before. It is a Snickers crisper, crisper and it looks satisfies. I say that. All right. For once, he's read something correctly. <laughs> Satisfies. Um, but yeah, it looks really it looks good. It's cool how to open it. It says twist to do something. Twist to close. Save some for later. I don't know. I'm not even gonna. Not even gonna worry about that. We're just gonna tear it open. Not even gonna bother saving it. Oh, it's in little bits. This is good. Okay, right. I'll have it. You have a bite first. I know you're weird like that. Um, oh. 
Mm. All right, you can't really see this. I'm going to open it up a little bit. There you go. Right, so inside you can see if it focuses. Let's see if it focuses. Focus. Mm. There you go. That's focused. It's got little crispy bits inside there. Look. And toffee and chocolate. And mm. 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 Just enjoy this game mm, for a minute. There you go. That is the second to last item. The last item is. I'm not going to open these, we've had these before. And these are. Milk Dots! He's just sport it. I'm going now. I saw you eating my jelly beans. <laughs> yes, these are, as he says, Milk Dots. These are milk duds. We've had these before. I had the smaller box normally. I think they're maybe a little bit smaller than that. Maybe sort of, I don't know, three quarters. But um, yeah, these are good. These are literally just little little balls, little tiny little, um, I guess kind of like jelly bean size. But they're just literally caramel covered in chocolate. And they're really good. Um, I love those. And they are gonna, they're going to stay around with me later. And um, I will enjoy those. But now we come to the main event. The main event, which is why I bought this in the first place, which is why I've moved from just from Candy Chaos. What are you doing? Just from Candy Chaos to Pop and Candy, because as you guys know, I've got about 200 pop figures up. 200? 100? I must have about 200 there, mustn't I? Yeah, right about. About 200 pop figures. I haven't counted them. I have to give them a count one day. About 200 you have pop. that app that like, counts them. Yeah, I don't use it anymore. Quite bothered. Um, but yeah, 200 odd pop figures. Um, and this is going to increase my collection by four and I know I haven't got any of them so to give me random pops random pops with and not have repeat is pretty amazing so let's open up the first one the first one is a underground toys exclusive now for some of you who've commented before saying snake underground toys you can get them anywhere you can't in England underground toys does not exist in England so for me What's these are exclusive toys? just a toy shop but these are an exclusive. They've come in their own, <coughs> in the normal, in the well, they're not normal now, but the plastic um, protectors, so they don't get damaged as much. And this one is the Marvel, and it is the Punisher. And it's the Punisher from the Thunderbolt section. It's a bobblehead one. Um, and we've got, you can get Black Suit Spider Man, Spider Man 2009, the Punisher, and Venom in the collection. There you go. <coughs> There's the ones you can get in the collection. And this is the Punisher one, which is pretty amazing. I like that a lot. That is pretty cool. The next one, Dr. Creeper's got, and it is from... ID4 Independence Day. It's from Day. Independence Day. I'm going to hold it up because you can't really see, can you? It is the alien from Independence Day. Um, it's, I think, the original Independence Day. It's not the new Independence Day film that's coming out, but it's quite timely because it's there's a new Independence Day film coming out in the next week or so, isn't it? Yes. Maybe it's not already. But on the back here, we have three in the selection, in the, in the collection rather. There's, there's Steve Hillier, Hiller, sorry, which was Will Smith. They won't say age 14, they won't say age 3. Yeah, because it's a more adult film, I guess. That's the point, I suppose. Yeah, this has got Steve Hiller, which was Will Smith's character. It's got David Levinson, which I think was Jeff Goldblum's character. It looks like, did like you know, from Back to the Future, Marty was blast. It's nothing like him. And it's got an alien, which was the alien character, played by an alien. Very well <coughs> as well. This alien was very good in this film. I don't know how they got him to act. He must have learned his line. They must have like used like special alien language for him to learn his lines, and then he's like spoken. Klingon. No, it wasn't Klingon. It was definitely an alien language. He, he learnt his lines well anyway. The alien. He's a very good actor. Seen him in other things. Like he's been, he's been in Coronation Street a couple of times, I think. Is it I think Ken. No, I think it was Ken. And then, and then he moved over to um, to um, to EastEnders, and he played Peggy Mitchell for three years. And no one knew. No one knew that it was alien. It was just, it was just a wig and makeup. Um, wasn't it? And he played Peggy Mitchell quite, and mm -hmm. he's saying like, get out of my pub, he was, he was quite good, wasn't he? Because he is, I was only just learning English, that's the only word. Yeah, really and he could said. just do, yeah, get out of my, that's all he said, that's the only things he ever said. But he did it quite well, didn't he? Yeah. He did, did it quite well. Right, the next one, <laughs> we're going to go over here for the next one. Because that one looks good. That's one, this is the, we're going to leave that one to last. This is another Underground Toys exclusive, and it's from the Avengers Age of Ultron film. A good film. This is a very good film, if you haven't seen it, it's a very, very good film. And this is Black, Black Widow. Widow. 
awesome. I like I like the Avengers film. It's a really good film. I, I, I got tickets to the to the to the premiere of that, and unfortunately, the ticket came three hours before it was due to start, and I wasn't going to make it in time. Unfortunately, so I couldn't come, which is a bit of a shame. But um, we have there is an Iron Man Mark Forty Three, a Captain Captain America. America. There's Hulk. There's Thor. There's Hawkeye. There's Vision. There is Ultron. Black and Scarlet Witch. There is nine in the collection and we have Black Widow. We try and get Ultron, Ultron. Sorry. Yeah, Ultron's quite a cool one as well. But yeah, that's a good one. And then the final pop figure, the final item in this month's Very unboxing cool. is really, really cool. It's from Star it's Wars. Vomit. It's from the original Star Wars. Is it? Uh, mm, no, it isn't. No, it's not. No, it's not. It says on your top. I beg your pardon, yeah. From the new, from the new Star new Wars Awakens. Star Wars. If you haven't seen Force Awakens, rather. If you haven't seen that film, really good film. I really, really enjoyed it. Film. It was a bit similar to the first film kind of recapped what the original Star Wars was about. So yes. if you haven't seen Star Wars at all, this one kind of covers it all. But um, yeah, Varmix. Varmix. Bar I knew that. I knew that. Varmix. He's also in EastEnders. He played Grant Mitchell. That's why he's... East but it was Grant Mitchell. Mm-hmm. Varmitchell. Varmitchell. The other brother, Varmitchell. Um, there you go, Varmic from Star Wars The Force Awakens, and that wraps up. With these, you can get. Oh, yeah, okay, I haven't done that bit. You Han Solo, yes. Princess, Leia, Admiral, Akbar, Nian, Noob, Sindon, Ethano, and Var, Mick, T Prime. <laughs> there you go, yeah, that ends up, that, that ends this month's unboxing. That is a mega uh, box from Pop and Candy. I won't be getting this one every month. Um, I'll go back probably to the normal pop and candies that I normally get with the one pop in. But as you can see, getting a big collection, if you get the new one now, six pops in your collection plus a load six of sweets. Pops. Um, it's a good box. It's £75 or it is or £70. It is quite expensive. But either way, I'm quite happy with that. It's a good box. I'm happy I got it. Very and from now, for me and him, we're going to say goodbye and I'll see you soon. See you later. Bye. Bye. Oh, bye. Bye. You're off. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you get there. Bye. Lock the door. See you later.